Welcome to Vet Ranch, I'm Dr. Carey. Um, this little one doesn't have a name. We pulled her from the shelter just now. She actually was adopted, went home, and then was returned to the shelter because she got sick. Um, so I believe the complaint was that she had bloody diarrhea. So our biggest concerns are gonna be parasites, like intestinal worms, hookworms, roundworms, um, giardia, and certainly parvo is way high on our list. So we now are gonna just do those tests. Um, and I also noticed some skin issues that she has. It looks like she could have a fungal infection. Come here, sweet girl. Okay. Like ringworm possibly on this side. She's got some hair loss right here. And she is so thin if you look at her. She's, see her spine here and her little ribs. Okay, sweetheart. And she's just really depressed and kind of grunting and groaning. It's all right. And she's really grunting. So we're gonna do our tests really quick. They are Eliza test that we take a stool sample, and then we should know the test results in about 10 minutes for the parvo giardia and the parasite screen. We're getting our samples, and you can see she just. She just had really bloody diarrhea here on the table, um, which we can actually use for our sample. Look, so that's why she's in she's in bad shape and a lot of trouble. She's really small and doesn't have that much blood to lose. So we're going to move really quickly and get her some treatment as soon as we get our test results. And we're trying to stay on top of this bloody diarrhea issue, but it's just kind of pouring out. Okay, sweet girl. We got a positive back on our parvo test and her Giardia test was negative. We are going to go ahead and bolus her a little bit of fluids now um, since we have our IV catheter in because she is losing a ton of blood and fluids even as we speak. We kind of um, keep trying to clean her up but she just keeps leaking bloody diarrhea. We did a stool check on her, but I'm not confident that it really is negative because I don't have that much stool, I just have blood. So um, we're going to have to do some repeat checks on her and we'll probably do wormer as well just to make sure. So we're going to start intensive care now and hospitalize her and hope for the best, but I'm not feeling super um, confident about her prognosis. Check in on my little Molly is what I decided to call her. Hi Molly Mew. Are we getting a tail whack today? She still looks like she feels terrible. She's not interested in eating any food this morning, which is normal, but we'd love to get her appetite back up. A little bit of interest, but not happening. Okay, we'll try again later. Clearly you can see that she is feeling better. Hi Mama. She is obviously wagging her tail, chipper, playful. Um, so, you know, we just had a really big turnaround with her and we feel like that's kind of how it goes with Parvo. Look at that, awesome stuff. That they are doing terrible, you're not sure if they're gonna make it and then they just wake up one day and they made it through um, with our supportive care. Um, and so we could not be happier because we certainly were really concerned, especially seeing all that bloody diarrhea um, and all the fluid loss that she was having. Okay, well, she's, she thinks she's gonna starve. We will definitely make sure you get plenty of food. Well, we are, oh, she sees Kiwi. You leave my bird alone. You leave my bird alone. <laughs> you just bit my nose. <laughs> uh, we're just rechecking our little Molly. Um, I'm addressing a skin issue that I noticed initially, but obviously we wanted to wait to make sure she was going to live before we did anything else, um, you know, before we put her through any treatments for skin issues. But clearly she's still super skinny, but her attitude is awesome. She's super perky now. We're going to try to do a skin scraping. I'm probably going to have to turn the camera off because I'm going to need my helper back. <laughs> she's going to be crazy. Oh my God. So the skin scraping was negative because it's kind of a raised crusty lesion. We're going to treat it um, like it is ringworm, which means we're just going to put a spray on it twice a day. And then we'll probably also give her some medicated baths. And so today we're going to give her her vaccines, which she should have had in the first place, which would have prevented her from having parvo. And we're going to heartworm test her and then give her her heartworm prevention as well. And hopefully she's negative. 
Well, we are spaying our little Molly today, and then she's going to be ready for a forever home. So if you're interested in adopting her, check out the adoption information. There should be a link. She is amazing. Um, she was so bad when she first came in. I really didn't know if she was going to make it with how severe her bloody diarrhea was. So we luckily saved her from Parvo. We are so thankful for you guys for watching our videos. Um, sending us your donations because without you we could not do what we love so thank you so much sometimes when you're feeling young and you're feeling tough and you're all caught up but you don't walk right and you don't talk right and there ain't nothing wrong with feeling strong babe i know what you're going through i know because i've been there too i don't walk right and i don't Good job.